Less than 48 hours after the U.S. and its Arab nation allies carried out a barrage of airstrikes on Islamic State targets in Iraq and Syria, President Barack Obama addressed over 140 world leaders at the UNGA. He reaffirmed the resolve of the international community to degrade and destroy the Islamic State militants. We will use our military might in a campaign of airstrikes to roll back ISIL. We will train and equip forces fighting against these terrorists on the ground. We will work to cut off their financing and to stop the flow of fighters into and out of the region. And already over 40 nations have offered to join this coalition. The ideology of ISIL or al-Qaeda or Boko Haram will wilt and die if it is consistently exposed and confronted and refuted in the light of day. He also urged leaders to recognize and pull together a comprehensive response to the spreading Ebola crisis. As we gather here, an outbreak of Ebola overwhelms public health systems in West Africa and threatens to move rapidly across borders. Each of these problems demands urgent attention. The Ebola virus has killed at least 2,800 people, according to the World Health Organization. In a report released on Tuesday, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says that if there is nothing done to control the outbreak, there could be 1.4 million cases of Ebola in Liberia and Sierra Leone by the end of January. We must also fight the virus of fear and misinformation. Bans on travel or transport will not keep Ebola from getting out, but will keep medical personnel and supplies from getting in. We need to isolate people affected by Ebola, but not the nations struggling to cope with it. With the leadership and solidarity, we can help the people of Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone bring the outbreak to an end and regain the path to a better future. Ugandan Sam Kutasa is president of the 69th UN General Assembly. Without quick and decisive action, the trail of disoccupation this outbreak leaves behind will reach far beyond the portions of West Africa most affected up, up to now. Ebola is no longer a sub-regional or even a regional calamity. It is an international crisis. The Security Council, with an unprecedented 130 sponsors, has adopted a resolution urging all countries to provide health experts and field hospital and medical supplies to contain the spread. And at this crossroads, I can promise you that the United States of America will not be distracted or deterred from what must be done. We are heirs to a proud legacy of freedom, and we're prepared to do what is necessary to secure that legacy for generations to come. I ask that you join us in this common mission for today's children and tomorrow's. Thank you very much. Paul Cisco, VOA News.